No, seriously, more bugs? I hate you! Hate you! Hey! What's up, my peoples? M. Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Go Busters DX Buster Hercules! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging! So right here, you got Buster Hercules, you got the two components, right here in the corner you have a beat and stag buster on the top, you have Buster Hercules, beat and stag, on this side of the box you have things and stuff that it does, on the other side of the box, things and stuff that it does, on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots, does this, that, the other, and hey look, beat and stag, and of course you get Sad Pac-Man! And then that's basically it for the packaging. I knocked everything over. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Here we have uh, Buster Hercules. Well, the two components that make up Buster Hercules. We have BC04 Go Buster Beat and SJ05 Stag Beetle in their Beetle Crane and Stag Jet Mode right now. So this is the, uh, the Buster Machines. For Beat and Stag Buster, two characters that I loved on the show. I loved, I loved Stag Buster. He was my favorite. That, oh my god, he was hilarious. I loved him. Definitely my favorite character on this show. But, uh, yeah, very cool set we have here, and we're gonna take a look at all that this does because it does do quite a bit. So, first we will start off with SJ05 Stag Beetle, and here is the Stag Jet right here in uh, the Buster vehicle mode. And you can see it's a nice silver jet done with some nice Bandai silver. You get some nice metallic blues here, some gold. Uh, very nicely done, of course, right there is just a, <laughs> the, the face plate for combined mode. That's just, you know, it's right there. It's just staring in the face, but there it is right there. Um, but very nicely done all around. Again, it doesn't look exactly aerodynamic. It's just kind of a blocky thing with wings so you know hey again this has to work in real life so it can't be uh all that sleek but still pretty cool um now as far as features go it does have a spring-loaded gimmick now uh one way you can activate the gimmick which is pretty cool is there's this rail right here on the bottom and at the end of this rail you can see there's a little switch right there what you do is you bring in the beetle crane and you can see this raised section right here and this bit that is actually sticking up and you can just rest that on the rail right there and when you push it forward this raised part will actually hit that button right there and you just push that along and you get whoop, and the little stag beetle horns will flip out which is pretty cool so that's a neat little feature right there Let's put them off to the side. So that's one way to activate that feature. Um, but to get him into his uh, Buster Animal mode, the other way to activate the spring loaded feature is just to take the cockpit and you flip it back and you see there's a little, there's a button right here. So when you push this all the way down, boop, it makes them flip out. And there you have these stag beetle horns. And then you just take the front legs right here, just flip them forward like that. And then you take these wings, flip them up to reveal the back legs. Right there. And there you go. There you have the Stag Beetle. Right there. Pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it. Again, it works. You know, it, it pulls off the look that it's trying to pull off for being a big mechanical bug. Hey, I can dig it. I, I can dig it. Um, I also get some red right there for the eyes. It looks pretty cool. And get some more of that Bandai silver and some more of that gold there gets revealed. And uh, yeah. Very, very cool. Just for a quick comparison, actually, let me uh, flip this back to vehicle mode real quick. And to release the cockpit here, you have to pull back this little switch and that boop releases it. Flip this back down, we'll flip these back up. Just do a quick comparison here. Here it is with rabbits. Just so you can see how it scales there. So, yeah, a little bit. A little bit longer than rabbit. There you go. Right there. Here it is with the gorilla. 
just for a sense of scale, as you can see how this sizes up with everything else. Here it is with GoBuster Ace, right there. And there you have that. So, there you go. So we'll get him back into his beetle mode here. Boop, right there. Put those legs down. Put them back up. And there you go. Back in beetle mode. Now, this can combine with Go Buster Ace, which is really cool. So we'll get Go Buster Ace into robot mode. And here he is in robot mode. How did you do that so quick? It's magic. It's magic. Anyway, <laughs> let's raise things up a little bit here. Excuse me while I readjust. There we go. So to combine the Stag Beetle with Go Buster Ace, all you're going to do is to get uh, Go Buster Ace ready, you're going to take the sword, pop it out of his hand because he's not going to need it. Take his head crest, flip that back, flip his goggles back. And you're going to take uh, this arm right here and just kind of fold it up like that and bring this down because you're going to need this connector port right there. And he is basically ready to go. So what you're going to do with the stag beetle is you're going to rip it apart. So you're going to take this whole back section here and pull this off. And I can flip these bug legs back. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, got a little choked up there. <coughs> Excuse me. But you're going to take these side pieces here and remove them. You're going to flip that nose cone back out. Then you're going to take these two halves and clip them together like that and you're going to flip up only the one connector right here. So now that you have that done, you're going to take this whole assembly and this will plug in to the port right there to give him a new big arm. You're going to give him this as a gun. This will plug into, actually this will plug, this will plug into his hand right here. I always forget, I always try to plug this in. There's a handle right here that's meant just for his hand. So you take that and plug that in. And he holds that as a gun. Actually, you do want to leave this. Why am I flipping all this around? That's for the other combination. Dwee, I'm go, dwee. And then you just take this backpack here. You just want to flip these fins up for clearance. And this will clip into his back right there. Like that. To give him a little jetpack. And there you go. There you have Go Buster Ace Stag Custom. Which is, uh... <laughs> kind of weird, but hey, I mean, he has a new big arm with, you know, giant claws, so hey, that's cool, and this uh, becomes a, you know, it's a gun, it's it's a gun, hey, <laughs> so now he has a big gun here that he really can't hold up because his elbow joint's a little too loose for it, but, you know, you can kind of get him holding it up, there we go, so yeah. There you have Go Buster Ace Stag Custom. So, we. Oh. Alright, so let's get all this off of him. Unplug that. Unplug this. And we'll put Ace off to the side. Because we're not going to need him for now. We'll put all this off to the side because we're not going to need that just yet. And we will bring in. BC-04 Go Buster Beat. Now this is the Beetle Crane mode. This is the Buster Vehicle mode right here for uh, for Beat Buster. And uh, very cool, as you can see, it's just a big crane. Um, there is some articulation right here. You do get some rotation out of the crane. You have a joint right here. You have a joint right here. So you get a bit of articulation. This end part right here can extend only that far. It can extend. It's something. There you that. And it rolls very, very smoothly. And that's basically all that it does. Um, still very nice paintwork on it. I love the silver. The metallic blue right there on the windshield looks really, really nice. You got gold there on the rims. Looks very nice. There's lots of gold paint on this guy, which looks very, very nice. And the metallic blues. Very cool. So... There you have the Beetle Crane. And again, for comparison, here it is with Go Buster Ace, just so you can see just how they scale together. Right there. And they actually do scale pretty well together. They're pretty much right on par with each other. So you have it 
with Ace. Here you have it with the Gorilla. Again, just for a sense of how it scales. Right there. And here it is with Rabbits. Again, just for that sense of scale right there. So There you have that. So, now we will get him into his Buster Animal mode. So to do that, you want to remove this whole crane arm right here. This just pops off, just plugs in right there. Put this off to the side for now. We're going to take these panels right here. We're going to flip them down just to get them out of the way. It makes life a little bit easier when you do that. You're going to bring these up like that, and then you're going to untab these side panels right here, and you're going to bring it around and they will clip in right there. So let's clip that in. Unclip it there, clip it in there. And then you're gonna take these panels and you're going to flip them down and they will clip in right there. Lock in place. Bring that around, clip it in, lock it into place. And then you can bring these sections down like that. Flip that out. Bring that down, flip that out. And then you can turn it around, and you can already see where we're going with this. And then you're going to take this section right here. Uh, you're going to take this back section, you're going to rotate it 180, so now that port is facing up. And you're just going to plug it in right here, and there's also a clip right there that will clip into this little groove right in there. So just plug that in there, and then that will plug in right there. Lock that into place. And then you just angle this up. And open this section up. And there you go. There you have Go Buster Beats in his Buster Animal Mode. And it's a big beetle. Are you surprised? <laughs> a big gold beetle. And it looks really cool, actually. I do quite dig it. And again, lots of gold paint on this guy. Lots of gold paint. And it looks really, really nice. You do get a little bit of silver here just to break things up. Um... But yeah, it looks really cool. You got some red there for the eye. And uh, yeah, I, I do dig this quite, quite a bit. Um, articulation, again, not a lot. I mean, you just get some rotation here. You can move this up and down. Um, you can kind of angle him up. I mean, these do rotate. So you can kind of maybe, you know, angle it up a little bit. But he can't really support his own weight. So really, you can't do much with it. <laughs> but <laughs> still, pretty, pretty cool nonetheless. And for comparison, here it is with the uh, stag beetle here, so you can see uh, they scale with each other. They look cool. Two big mechanical bugs. I really like the way they look. <laughs> very, very cool. And for another comparison, we'll see if we can do this. See if we can get a group shot here. We'll try. We'll, we'll, we'll try. So we got Go Buster Ace right here. Actually, maybe you should be over here. Bring in the gorilla. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get a group shot here. I'm going to do my best. And we'll bring in the rabbits. That waskawi rabbit. And maybe we can do this. I think we can do this. There we go. Yay! So there you got the whole team. Well, minus Tatagami Layo. But um, I do have Tatagami Layo. He will be reviewed. Don't worry. But yeah, there is the main five right there. Very cool. And I also do have the frog. <laughs> In case anybody's wondering, I do have the frog. And I will be reviewing that also. But there you go. There you go. And there you go. You wascoe wabbit. So now it is time to combine these two guys into actually before we combine these two guys into Buster Hercules, we'll get into uh Mr. Beetle here and turn him into his robot mode. We'll turn him into Go Buster Beats before we get into anything else. So to do that, you're just gonna remove this crane arm section again. You wanna rotate this section so the gold paint apps are facing up, and this is basically ready to go. So now, to get him into robot mode, you're going to just flip these sections down, flip it in, flip it down, flip it in, and then you're going to split the legs and bring them downward, like that. Take the feet, flip them around, flip the feet around, yeah, we got the legs all done, and now I must raise the camera again. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oops. 
Excuse me, I just need to situate the tripod here. Give me one moment, please. Thank you very much. There we go. So you got these side sections here. Raise them up like that. Take this section right here, bring it back. You can flip this connector peg up. And you want to bring this whole chest section down. And then that will give you access to the head. You can flip the head up, flip up the horn right here. Flip that back up, snap it into place. And then you take the whole crane arm section here, which will become his arms, and you slide it in from the side. Like that. That will lock into place. Make his arms. Bring the arms down. And there you go. There you have Go Busta Beats. Right there. And, uh, pretty cool. I, I kind of dig the design. He does have, he, he does basically suffer from what uh, Go Buster A suffers from. He just, he does have extremely bulky legs. Just, you know, there's a lot of stuff there, but still, I, I do quite like the design. Um, I like the design of his, uh, of his head there. I like that. I dig that. With the beetle horn. Pretty cool. Um, articulation wise, you just get rotation here and some upward and downward movement there. So that's pretty much all the articulation you get in this mode. You can move his feet up and down, but that doesn't really serve much purpose as far as posability goes. But there you have that. But again, pretty clean, except for his legs just having a lot of extra junk on them. But still, I do quite dig the design. He does have this big weapon now on his arm, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can extend that. You know, you can kind of close this back up. Use it as a punch. So, you have that option. And you can also use these bits on his legs as extra weapons right here. So if you bring his arms up, you can bring these off to the side. And bring them around like that so the blade is facing backwards. And then flip this forward like that. Bring that around. Bring that back. And flip that forward. If that, oops, this part loves to pop off really easily. Stay on there. Stay. And then, Beat can't hold on to these handles, you just bring his arms down and they can hold on to those handles right there. And now he has big hip guns right there. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. And another option you have for these is you can remove them and they have handles right here you can pick them into his hands and he can hold them as swords if you wish so that's pretty cool that you can actually arm him up a couple ways I dig that I dig that very very much so they have that so we'll just plug that back in right there we'll fold this back up get that back into its original position here boom 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 and there we go. And here he is with Go Buster Ace. Just for a comparison. You can see they're basically the same height. He might be like a smidge taller at the head than Go Buster Ace. But there you go. They look pretty cool together. Again, just in case you care how it scales with everything else. There it is with Gorilla. Mm, rabbit. There you go. So there you have that, and that, and that, and that. So now, it's time to combine him with Stag Beetle to make Busta Hercules. So to do that, uh, what are we going to do first? What should we do first? Uh, first thing we need to do here is just flip down this little connector peg right there, because we will need that. And I think that's pretty much all the prep work we need to do for this guy. So, for Stag Beetle, again, you just want to take him apart. You want to remove the back section here. You want to remove the faceplate also. Put that off to the side. You just want to take the beetle apart. Undo that. Undo that. You want to flip out the cockpit there. Like that. And flip up the front legs, the front beetle legs because you're not going to need them, right there, and clip all this together, like that, and you want to flip up both of these connector pegs right here, because you have to do that for clearance, and what you're going to do with this piece is this will clip over his arm, you see these two little notches right there, and 
This will clip on right there. Just clip that onto his arm. Like that. You take the faceplate right here and this just clips onto his butt. Right there. Just line that up. Clip that on. That's where it stores. He's got a face on his butt now. He's a butt face. You are a butt face! And then you take this and you plug this into his hand as a gun. Right there. And you take this section right here. You can angle these little fins downward. And this will plug right into his chest right there. Like that. And the final touch is to flip open the face mask right here to reveal the new combined mode face. And there you have Buster Hercules in all his glory. Again, pretty cool. He does end up now with this, you know, huge weapon on his arm. And now he has the gun, you know, pew pew, bang bang. So yeah, there you go. And getting close here on uh, the new face sculpt there. I do like that. That's really cool. Got the red eyes picked out. I dig it. I dig it. So there you have that. There you have Buster Hercules. So now, time for the grand finale because all of this can combine with Go Buster O to make great Go Buster. So we'll get started with that. And just for a quick comparison before we start ripping everything apart, here he is with Go Buster O, just so you can see how they scale together. So there you have that. So now... Let's get down to it and start ripping these guys apart because you want to talk about parts forming? Oh, there's parts forming. There's tons of parts forming. Like a ton of parts forming. So, let's get right on to it. Now, to get Go Buster O ready, let's put him off to the side here. Stay. All this stuff does make him a bit front heavy though, so sometimes he has a bit of trouble standing. Sometimes I just put his gun down on the floor to kind of brace him. Sometimes he needs a cane. There you go. So, to get Go Buster O ready, you're going to uh, remove the faceplate here. You're going to pull off his arms, remove the sword, flip that hand up, put that off to the side, put this off to the side. You're going to rip off his other arm here. You're going to remove the propeller blades right there. Flip that hand up. And now that is good to go. You're going to take Gorosaki out and put him off to the side. And I believe we're all ready to go on this front. So now we will put him off to the side. And now we will bring in Buster Hercules and we're going to rip him apart. So I'm going to take this, remove that, remove this. You want to split this in half. And you want to flip this back down so you can flip the horn back up and flip that back up to its original position. And there we go. And that's going to be one of his new arms. Same thing here. Flip that back up. There you got the other arm. So we got that done. Remove the gun. Put that off to the side. Flip this back up. Flip his mask back down. Take the arm section out. Put that off to the side. Uh, flip this down, flip that down, put his head back in, close that back up, close that back up, and bring this back down, oh, take this face plate, move that, put that off to the side, and now you're going to rip off his upper torso right here, boom, we don't need that, and now we're going to rip his crotch in half, oh, that's, that's painful, that's just painful. And now we're going to flip up these connectors right here. Just flip those in. And there's a button right here to release this sliding mechanism because once you slide these out, they do lock into place. So push that button. That will slide back down. And make sure that clips back into place. Flip the foot back into its original position. And there we have this section all ready to go. Do the same thing here. Push that button. Slide that up. Clip that in. Flip the foot around, and now that is ready to go. And now I think we got everything good and ready. Yeah, you have a lot of, a lot of pieces just kind of lying around here, ready to go. Yeah. 
So, there we have that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give GoBuster O some new booties. So these will clip in to the bottoms of his feet. You got a little clip and the port right there, and you got the post, the two posts right there. So you just clip those onto the bottom of his feet, like that. And then clip the other one on right here. And there you go. So now he's going to be a little taller. Yay for height. My camera loves height. Yay. Anyway. <laughs> and we can just take his new arms here and plug these in. Right there. And right there. Just like that. And then we're going to take this section right here. And we're going to plug on the uh, Go Buster O's arms. Just going to plug in right there. And this is going to plug in on the other side. Like that. So that's the way you want that oriented. And then you're going to take Gorosaki. And Gorosaki is just going to sit on top of all this. You just want to bring the legs outward. Like that. And Gorosaki is just going to go into this groove right there. Just like that. And that's how he stores. Now this whole section is going to clip onto the back of Go Buster O. And you can't see it because he is too tall. Wow. Hooray for tall toys. There we go. <laughs> there you have it. So these two posts are going to clip in right back here. And give him a nice big backpack now. Ah, just like that. Now we can turn all this around, and uh, what else have we got, what else have we got? And we want to take this section right here, you want to take these and flip them up like that. Then you got to take the propeller blades, plug that on, bring the blades out one click, and this will now clip into the chest. Come on, clip in. There we go. I'll clip into the chest right there, like that, and then you can take this, plug this into his hand to give him the gun, and then what are we going to do, what are we going to do, okay, we'll take this whole section right here, this is going to become a staff weapon, and you just take the Go Buster O sword, and this will plug in right into the top right here, so just plug that on, and then you take the Go Buster O faceplate, and this will just clip in right here. Like that. And then you just slip out this handle. And bring his arm out. And that will just plug right into his hand right there. So now he has a staff weapon. And last but not least, you take the new faceplate. And that just goes over Go Buster Ace's face. Right there. And there we have it. There we have great Go Buster. Isn't he great? He's so great. I don't think I can fit him all in the camera frame. But there we go. There we have great Go Buster, <laughs> and he is he is quite 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 large, uh, very big, very bulky. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, it is it is definitely a crazy combination. Um, it's got a lot of backpack. Um, of course, when we combine him with Tatsugami Lyo, he's going to have a lot more backpack. But um, yeah, this is just a an insane, insane combination. I mean, he still has the same range of articulation, just rotation in the shoulders, you know. But, yeah, this thing is just, it's its massive. It's massive. But still, again, it's crazy, but it's crazy in that way that I like. So, I think this is actually really cool. It's just insane in that way that just vibes with me. I don't know. But, um, yeah, very, very cool. It's a crazy ridiculous combination but it's ridiculous in that way that i really like it's just it's so crazy it's awesome and i really do like it so um hopefully i didn't miss anything or forget anything there's a lot to go over with this set so if i miss something i do apologize but you know again i'm human i forget things you ever forget happens to me you know so <laughs> i think i pretty much got everything that this set uh, does but again if i miss something i do apologize but again 
pretty cool set. I dig it. I dig it very much. And like I said, you know, beating Stagbuster uh, were honestly like my favorite characters on the show, especially Stagbuster. I loved him. Like I said, he was he was hilarious. He just he made me laugh. He was one character on the show that like always made me laugh. Um, but uh, yeah. Again, very cool set. I dig it. I dig it very much. Now, of course, BigBadToyStore.com does have a selection of Super Sentai toys. And you can check them out. Linked in the description down below. And you can also check out my Go Busters playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below. So check that out as well. And I think that's pretty much it for this big, massive thing here so don't forget to check out m games check out lori plan follow me on twitter all that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the go busters the x buster hercules and this is m go saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be a geek be proud palm in your face Waspinator doesn't know how Waspinator got here. He must have taken wrong turn somewhere. No. Who are you? Are you a Megazord? What? Waspinator isn't a Mega anything. Waspinator just got lost. C could you maybe help Waspinator get home? I got other things to deal with, saving the world and all, but uh, since you do look like a monster, I feel like I should destroy you. You know what? Waspinator can find his own way home. Uh, thanks very much. Waspinator, fly away!